different organisms must have undergone continuous development, passing through all possible transitional or intermediate forms. None have been find, found. The same gaps exist in the fossil record. In fact, in the last decade, geologists have found rock layers of all divisions of the last 500 million years, and no transitional forms were contained in them. What happens? New higher categories appear abruptly, abruptly. So, the, the, uh, another inconsistency is, according to conventional science, the second law of thermodynamics is the order in the universe is disintegrating at every moment, winding down. Not true, of course. God's energy is ever fresh, but look, if they, if they want to be, let's hold their whole paradigm of belief system together for consistency. They believe the second law of uh, thermodynamics that the order of the universe is disintegrating at every moment, winding down. Darwin's evolution, on the contrary, claims auto-organization, progression and development. The two concepts are hence contradictory. So, what... In what ba and, and I've if not in my book, in my YouTube series, or in some of the answers, and I, I'll leave it at this. What, my last few videos, I think, covered it. Imagine, and it's an obvious metaphor for evolution, okay? Imagine you're writing a book. Your book's going to span a story of a thousand years. Perhaps it took you six months to write the book. Perhaps you conceived of the idea in seconds. You may have written the last chapter before the first chapter. You may have conceived of and created the second chapter, but decided to insert it after the first chapter. The first chapter did not create the second chapter, and the second chapter did not evolve from the first chapter. So all of creation was created in a pre-physical uh, beyond time format and in serialized fashion appears in our experience in a medium at our, at our um, a dimensional level as the passage of time. We did not evolve from the apes. They didn't evolve from us. That is not what's happening. Now, it'll play out that way three-dimensionally because the way the universe works, it's like a grand event. So the higher dimensionally you go, the larger you can see the event. It's like a larger being being able to hold the whole movie out and seeing the whole movie at once. You have to watch it, uh, you know, frame at a time. So that's basically the concept. Larger dimensional, you take in more of it. We create our own reality.